Sony CX405. This camera has an external microphone on it that I just put in. The way I did it, the internal microphone still works too. All you got to do is unplug the external mic. But anyhow, I'm going to do a little microphone check, tell you a little bit about the video. The video is long. It goes into all the details of taking it apart, everything that I did, taking it apart, the struggles I had, especially putting it back together. Um, I'll include in the links below parts that I used on this, stuff like that. Um, the reason I did this video is I couldn't find one that was in English and it's very hard to do something like this if you've never done it before without somebody explaining it in your native language. So hopefully this helps somebody and if you're getting ready to watch this video, you're getting ready to void your warranty. So just remember that I was lucky. I was successful. You may or may not be. So again, good luck. All right, two things. I'm not an electrician, and this is being recorded on the CX-405's internal microphones. All right, inside the camera, these are the two microphones that are at the very front of the camera. But inside the camera, there's going to be one common lead. We're going to call that the ground to both of your microphones, and then there's going to be a left and a right. If you ohm these out, these will be open. And these will have resistance. In other words, if you have an ohm meter with tone, when you touch these two, so you'll know when you've got the ground leads. And I'm not saying that this is the correct order right here for these dots to be in. But when you ohm these two out, whenever, whichever two happen to be the ground, they'll have resistance. There'll be, there'll be one wire. There'll be a common lead going into the camera. Then when you run it down to the external plug, you're only going to need one off the common lead side that goes here on the external plug. You'll need one off the right channel that goes here and one off the left channel that goes here. When I did it, I didn't care about right or left um, that much, but I think I've got mine right. I'm not 100% sure. I could not draw this plug out and show you where to put them on here, but you'll be able to tell looking at the plug. If you can't tell looking at this plug which wire needs to go where, you don't need to be doing this job because it voids your warranty and it could fry your camera completely or fry the sound circuit in your camera. So don't go into this lightly. Well, if you're watching this video, that means it worked. I am going to put an external microphone jack on a Sony CX405 camcorder. As you can see, this one's brand new out of the box. I recommend you do not try this at home. Um, we're about to void a warranty. I've watched a few videos on this. Uh, can't find any of them in English. So uh, I'm doing one in English. My plan is, when I'm done, to have this jack somewhere back here in what is supposed to be a compartment for a spare battery. You can pop this out of there by prying on this little tab right here and it'll pop out and that's supposed to hold a spare battery. But my plan is to put this in here somewhere, sticking out either the side or the rear. I don't know which yet, depending on what the clearance is like once I actually look at it from the inside. So let's void a warranty. I don't really know how these come apart. I'm just going to start pulling out screws and take it apart. I will probably edit this video so that the uh, disassembly will make some sense because like I said right I'm doing what I'm doing right now is just pulling out screws at random and trying to take off a cover or two to see what happens. That didn't do what I thought it would do. All right, um, probably be good if I took the battery out of this thing. Like I said, brand new camera. I've played with it a little bit. It does work, works fairly well. I think it will serve my purposes. I just want to have an external microphone. Now let's put this over on the desk. Such a barbarian.
And as I'm taking these screws out, I will be checking to see if they're all the same type and style, and they're not. So we got different screws in different locations. So let's make us a little something to hold the screws so we know where they go back in at so we don't put the wrong type of screw in the wrong hole. This is a trick that I use working on cars. I just put screws into a piece of cardboard so I know where they go back in. So it should work working on a camera. What I don't know is what screws to take out and what not to take out. But eventually it'll fall apart, I'm sure. Eventually something's going to fall off of this camera uh, besides the screws. All right, I'm sure that it snaps together somewhere to get the whole thing started coming apart, but exactly where, I don't know yet. All right, had to go watch a little bit of a YouTube video of one of those non-English speaking type YouTube videos that you can't figure out too much about. But anyway, this pries out this way. And then... that across the back. I don't think it's supposed to drop back in like that though. Come on, there we go. Whatever tab is in there, I just got loose. Now if I can keep this loose. All right, I got it to come back a little ways. And it just popped off. And it does not appear that I've broken anything. Yay for me. All right, one piece off. Small screw right here. Put that screw in my board. Yeah. I should have used a piece of foam like this. Would have been a lot easier to stick them into. All right. All right. Out. Come on, baby. Oh, gotta take this plug out of here. And there we go. I think. There is a plastic plate with a hole in it right there that has to clear and come out with all this without breaking it off. So far I don't think I've broke anything. I don't think I've lost anything yet. I'll be amazed if by the time I'm done with this if there's not some missing pieces. And let's see where I'm at. Uh, I have not gotten to my speakers yet. 
or my wiring for my speakers and there's not much extra space in here for anything I've got to try to figure out where I'm going to run my wires back to the back back here for my speaker jack and I don't know should be enough room along this side it looks like just run them up along here maybe fingers crossed We have to lift this out. I'm hoping I'm going to be seeing some speakers here real soon because. Uh, anyway, as I'm saying, as I was saying, I'm hoping I'm going to see some speakers here real soon because I don't want to take too much more of this apart. They should be right behind this cover. Oh, that just jumped off of there once it came loose. Alrighty then. So that will take the lens off of it. The lens cover anyway off of it. I'm just wiggling and easing forward a little bit on it there. I'm trying to figure out where it is still holding on at. All right, it appears that the bottom will come out first. Yep, the bottom comes out first and then it comes right off. All right now, there's the lens cover off it. Now what I'm looking for is these two speakers right here. And the wiring that goes into that. And that is definitely just a ribbon cable. So, yee, this is going to be. All right, I'm going to pull this screw out of here. I have a feeling this is going to be very hard to solder wires to if that's just a ribbon cable in there. But Well, that's moving forward. Now, that wiggles, that wiggles. All right, that whole piece just dropped forward, and there is my speaker ribbon now <clears throat> I've gotten to the point now where I'm not sure if I want to mess with this anymore because those ribbons are very tiny and very sensitive and very beyond my technology Try to separate the speakers out of here, or the microphones out of here, and just see if I've got enough room to be able to solder. Oh, yeah. Those are some tiny little soldering spots. Now my question is, both sides of this thing will have a wire, one wire for left, one wire for right, and both sides of them will have basically a ground or a neutral wire. How do I tell which is which? And all the while while playing with this, not tugging on that too hard and messing that up. Whew. 
tiny little solder spot. All right, so in order to find which one's the common and which one is the left and the right, you have to ohm them out. This is what I'm doing. I'm not saying this is gonna work, but. It's gonna be very hard for you to see. But these two right here. If I can make contact with them. Other ones, the other two. So that's my common right there. That's the one that will go to my single leg right here. I think if I'm right, this will work. All right. The wires that I'm going to use here are just wires that I scavenged out of an old computer. I don't know what gauge of wire this is. I don't normally work with this fine a wire. I'm a mechanic, not an electrician or an electronics guy. So I don't know if this is 30 gauge or what it is, but it's very fine wire. Hopefully it's small enough to do this job. I'm not sure if it is yet. I've got to figure out a way to route it and all that stuff. All right. <clears throat> all righty. Now comes the uh, scary part, soldering these little tiny connections together without messing it up. That's two. Now, if I did it right, this will be my common ground post. And then one will be my left and one will be my right. And hopefully this works. Still got my fingers crossed. So uh, I kind of switched wires here. These wires are out of a USB cable. One of them that I'd broken an end off of. They're a little bit smaller wire. Hopefully they work better than the other ones. And I'm not sure if I'm putting left channel and right channel on the right ones at the moment. Right now, I'm just going to try to find out if this works. Let's drop a battery in this thing and see what happens. Oh, I got to find my camera mic. Oh, incidentally, you won't be hearing me on the mic on here, but you may be hearing me on the mic on here. The external mic. The external mic is going to get disconnected from this camera and it's going to get connected to this one. So I'll be using the regular mic over here and the external mic. Well, maybe you'll see the external mic work on this one. All right. The uh, camera, well, the phone camera right here is just recording on its regular microphone. Now my external mic is right here hooked to this camera. I am going to press record. We are recording, and hopefully in the video you will see some footage of this camera recording as I take a few steps out of the room. Walking out of the room, walking through the hallway, walking into another room. Oh man, I hope this works. Okay, coming back. We are going to test it right now. We are recording. And hopefully, in the video, you will see some footage of this camera recording as I take a few steps out of the room. Walking out of the room, walking through the hallway, walking into another room. Oh man, I hope this works. Okay, coming back. We are going to test it right now. Alright, so basically I don't think I've broken anything. I think everything is working. Um, let's uh, click our menu button. Go to playback. It worked! It worked! It worked! Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this mess up clean up these wires, get them routed through here, 
and uh, put this camera back together and hopefully it still works when I get it back together. But so far, so good. I am amazed. I thought for sure I would, well, I figured I had about a 25% chance of killing this camera. So we're not done yet. So what I'm going to end up doing is drilling a hole right here to let those wires go through. Because right here, there's no room for any wires to go through. Just the tape, the slot for the behind the mic ends right there. So a small hole right here on both sides. I'll run the wires through there and uh, stop twisting on this so much and trying to break it off. I'm not sure if this drill is up to the task. It may not have the horsepower to drill through here. Okay, I'm joking. All right. My biggest concern is something catching and ripping this out of my hand, though. Or losing a finger because I drilled a hole through it. Now we'll get these threaded through the holes and, uh, you know, find out what they get in the way of later, I guess. Because I never really checked to make sure they were 100% out of the way. It appears that there'll be enough room for them back here, but... Well, you can never can be 100% sure, I suppose, until you put it together. Oh yeah, that's going to work a whole lot better. So I'll tuck all this back in here exactly the way it was, I think, exactly the way it was, I hope. And these wires are going to come out this side and not get in the way of anything. snap back in place uh, so far so good all right after some looking at this side cover and this cover there is room for this to go through here and this to snap on over the top of that I believe I'm probably gonna end up with a screw left over when I get through putting this thing together but this one goes back in here. And then if I remember the order that I disassembled it in, this will go back over the top of this. That little guy doesn't want to really stay in there because of the wires. That hole lines up for our screw. Come on, baby. All right, lens cover works. Now this is where it's gonna get tricky is coming back through up here. Looks like it gives me a generous, generous amount of space right here, I hope. Uh, almost left a screw out right there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Up around here, through here. Now I've got to figure out exactly where this is going to fit in to this back here. I was thinking about coming out one of the sides, like over here on this side, but that requires I go through two layers. So I think I'm going to try to come straight out the back. Now the question I have is, is there enough room in there? And I think the answer to that is no. All right, it's going to be a little while. Well, it'll be a matter of a few seconds for you guys out there in the video land, but uh, 
I'm going to order a different type of a plug. I originally ordered these because I had big plans of disconnecting the front mics as it plugged in, all that good stuff. But I'm going to order a different plug that doesn't have the disconnectability for the uh, other mics. Anyway, back in a flash. And here we are, just a few seconds later, we have our new parts in. And it is just a little bit shorter than the old one. So there's plenty of room to put it right here, straight out the back in the center of this. I'll drill a small hole right there, high enough to clear this piece of plastic right here so it ends up something about that high. Right about there. Just enough room to clear the battery. And with the right size drill bit and a little bit of luck, we'll drill a hole through this without splitting it into a million pieces. Got a rough calculation on the length that I need these wires, so snip. Well, those could be a little sharper. Strip the ends of those off, solder them onto this, and now solder together, and it appears that everything is going to fit. Now i got to put the uh, side case cover back on next, because it has a screw that goes in before this cover goes on. been a couple days since I took this apart now so I got to figure out what I got to do in what order first of all put that right side up these are going to run right about here this has to stay down here to stay out of the way simple I really don't need a battery in here right now. There's going to be a lot of playing around with wires as I get this side cover put on. I think this has to be part way off. This little chrome cover has to be forward a little bit for this ear to get back in here. That is not going far enough forward 
to get that little screw hole up underneath there. Got it stuck in there now, boys. All right. So that little ear has to go forward far enough to get up underneath where that screw will go through it. And I'm going to play with that for a minute to get it in there. Get this to stay forward. All right, this may not be a whole lot of help, but I finally got that little tab in there by popping this piece of plastic out away from there. So that little tab is now in there. And then there's a row of tabs right here that have to go into this um, shiny chrome looking piece as it goes together. But now that that tab's all the way over in there, I'll be able to get a screw in that. I kind of messed up as I was going together. That also has to get down in between there. Ah, I got the front one pulled up. All right, now I've got both of those screw holes lined up. Yes, I definitely should have taped those wires in a couple spots as I put this together because they keep falling down. I've tied this over to the side to keep those wires from falling out of the way while I was playing with all of this. Now I need to untie it to kind of get those rerouted. This is going to be a little tricky. I probably should have taped those wires into place in a couple spots, but I didn't. So now I'm paying the price for that. Now, let's get these wires back over where they're supposed to be. without breaking them off of anything. That's where I want them at. Looking good. Bring them around that corner, down so they don't get caught in any of the clipping spots. Well, wait a minute, down isn't going to work because it has to clip right here. So it's going to have to go over that top edge like that. That looks like it's going to work. All right, I've got to put a screw in here and a couple in the bottom, and I'll be right back. All right, we're almost to the end of this, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd want to call it, but could call it a project, I suppose. But So what I'm trying not to do is I'm trying not to have too much slack in my wire so that the battery will hit them. It looks pretty good. Now I've just got to get this, the wires underneath of it and make sure everything clears as it snaps together. And it is together. A couple screws left to put in the bottom here and uh, one in the side yet underneath this little cover and then we'll give it a test see what happens all right let's drop a battery back in this thing and the next thing you're going to see is some camera testing of the external microphone plugged into this
I'll include in the links below parts that I used on this, stuff like that. And you saw the audio test at the beginning of the video. In the video description, I'll put links to the parts I used, and I will also put some timestamps down there because this is a very long video. If you try to do this with your own camera, good luck. And remember, you may not be as lucky as I was. All right, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.